This is Shane from Weiss Precision, and today I'm really excited to introduce to you the Pinch Pulley. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so first off, the Pinch Pulley is an ultralight pulley um, designed specifically for you know, backpack hunting, backcountry hunting. It's a pulley, obviously way more uses than that. Um, this winter uh, on our show season, trade show season, we had the 550 size and we showed that to folks and had limited quantities to sell, um, but let people test these things out. Coming out this summer, we'll have a much smaller size, about half the size of the 550, but we'll talk about that more when we have details. So first on this 550 size pinch pulley, I'm just gonna run through some specs for you real quick, just give it a feel for it, and then we'll get into some more details. So it is an ultralight pulley. This guy comes in at weight wise 0.2 ounces, actually less than 0.2 ounces. It's made from a high carbon stainless steel that's been heat treated. Um, it has a tensile strength of over 1500 pounds and the 550 name on this, it's designed for 550 paracord, go figure. But it also works very well with 650, 750, 850 paracord, as well as 764 Dyneema uh, cord as well. So first question that's probably coming to your mind is why? Why did we make something so absurdly tiny and light and strong? Uh, and there's a story behind that. There's a story behind the name. Uh, and it's pretty funny. As I've told this story over the years, I have heard several other stories that are very similar from other hunters who've been in pickles as well. Um, so kind of reaffirming that, yeah, there's a real need for this. Honestly, this one story I'm going to tell you, that was need enough for me. Um, so I'll just get into it. Uh, this was 2020 hunting season. Me and a buddy uh, were in Idaho hunting elk. We killed a couple elk together before. Um, never a big mature bull though. And this season, my buddy killed a big mature bull. Um, and another thing we hadn't experienced was an animal that really died in a bad spot. And this one did. So he kills this bull. It's running downhill, plows head first under this big blowdown. You know, antlers all ripped back, shoulders buried up underneath of it. It was, it was quite the mess. It took us over an hour just to get him unburied from this tree and literally pulled five feet back to hang his belly over a stump and start cutting on him. Uh, we weren't prepared for that at all. It was so much work and so ridiculous. Uh, there was two things that we said in that scenario. First is his brother was playing college football. So first is we need a big dude here with us, please. And the other thing is we have got to have some sort of block and tackle, some sort of pulley system for these scenarios. The trouble is you don't always need it. We needed it there, so got to thinking that's where the pinch pulley came from. It's something so absurdly small and light that you will always have it with you and never question it. I carry four of these guys in my kill kit. Um, you can see super tiny, so four of these doesn't take up any space. And at less than 0.2 ounces a piece, I'm just barely over three quarters an ounce for four of them. So I don't care if I use them or not. That is dirt cheap insurance for me, especially after I've been through that situation before. Um, so I'll, uh, I'll show you real quick how these, would, how these would be used. You can see right up here, we've got a large eyelet at the top. I'm gonna take out a little bit of cordage, so I've already got this tied in a loop. The cool thing about this large eyelet is it's big enough that you can feed larger cord through it, or you can like double up your, your paracord and feed that through. So that's what I'm gonna do here and feed through that tail. Now we've got a capti captive pulley on this, you know, effectively an anchor line. Uh, inside of here, we have a sort of a passage and there's a ball bearing resting inside of there. So that ball bearing's pretty cool. That guy functions as both the axle and the sheave of the pulley. Um, so doing that sort of design really allowed us to shrink the size of the pulley, um, you know, both just dimensions like volume as well as the weight of it uh, while maintaining a super high strength. So like I said earlier, over 1500 pounds tensile strength for this 550 size pulley. Um, so I'm gonna take another cord here and we'll just feed that through that little passage over the ball bearing. And now you've built yourself a pulley system. Uh, so another cool thing about these about these pinch pulleys. They're designed and manufactured with really flat faces on them. So those flat faces are really neat because they allow them to, these pulleys to stack together. So I'm just gonna fish another pulley onto this anchor line. You can see now it's kind of like resting into that first pulley. Fish that loop through again. Now we've got two of these built up. 
So you can expand this out, but you're starting to see that you can really build yourself a neat and very versatile block and tackle setup. So in that scenario that you've killed an animal, it's in a bad spot and you gotta move it, anchor this to a stump or a tree, you tie off on your animal. Obviously we've already come through and fished through one pulley. We're gonna go through, fish through a pulley on the animal back through the second pulley on our anchor and then back through the animal again usually you know through a pulley on the animal again and i'll try to splay these cords out for you but you see we're really starting to build a pretty serious block and tackle leverage advantage um, in that scenario that i just described there uh, those four pulleys are actually building a five to one leverage advantage uh, so it gives you some real horsepower for you know effectively no weight penalty uh, so we're obviously super excited about these. I know a lot of other guys are as well um, who've been in similar positions as me. Um, so again, super excited. Hopefully you guys are. If you have these, you get these, and you get yourself out of a bad situation with them, please let us know. We absolutely love hearing success stories. Um, also coming out in you know a couple of weeks later, we'll have videos where we go through the tensile testing that we did on these, as well as videos showing the specifics and the details um, of how to set up various leverage advantages or how to hang meat bags in a tree or quarter bags in a tree. Um, so keep an eye out for those as well. But for right now, thanks for watching.